actually, guys, um, I'll tell you what, uh, th this is actually something you haven't seen. That's me bribing things. So I just had a look. We do need to bribe something. We've got to bribe Valhalla's. This isn't an ability you've seen the animation of or anything. So here's how it works, okay? And who better to have bribe than Riku, right? We want X potions. So basically, every enemy has uh, some unique item on their loot table, as I've explained before. We're going to go down to bribe. You might think it looks the same as the, like, throw gill animation. It really doesn't. So uh, you select bribe, and it just says how much. So you need to bribe him, like, ten times the amount of his health. And if the initial bribe fails, I think this was how much it was. If the initial bribe fails, what you can do instead is, uh, on subsequent bribes, all that money still counts as given to him. Does he really not have bribe? That's so weird. He should have bribe. They've all finished the whole sphere grid. Maybe I just sort of skipped some ability spheres. I think I remember doing that. Uh, so what you want to do is um, just start giving him one gill after this. And the game will just accumulate all the gill you've given so far. And ultimately, it will then go through, as you can see there. And he'll run away. And it won't say that anything's changed, but when you look at the items you got for the victory, you notice you get a bunch of things. So here I got 39 X potions. The amount of items you get from doing this completely depends on the amount of money you give. If you give like the bare minimum, you'll get a certain amount. If you give more, then you'll get others. So uh, yeah, we'll do that again with some more Valhalla. I think one more is all we're really gonna need. We already had like 30-ish. Got 39 there, that puts us up to at least 70. So there's another 130,000 is if the enemy finally gets a turn and it's been a while and he's still not ran off there you go we got that first time but if he doesn't get a t if he if he eventually gets a turn and he tries to attack one of us we're just going to evade it and then counter and kill him straight away and then all that money's going to be for nothing so that time i got 44 x potions there's a bit of rng to it but there you'll see i've got 99 x potions and no other stuff so that's awesome the other thing i wanted to do was charge riku's overdrive so what i did was i put her a second ago onto victor so in two battles her overdrive is charged there are many mixes i haven't shown you guys i can see to this but many of the them. They just like look like throwing a grenade or you know basically the same effects of spells that we've seen before uh, But we wanted hers up so that she could cast hyper mighty G and now we're going to change her mode once again And I really don't know what's best for the penance fight. I Feel like whatever decision I make here is gonna be pretty huge I'm gonna stick with comrade. I don't know. There's probably a really good suggested one but I'm going to stick with Comrade. Everyone's going to be on Comrade for this. Comrade, Comrade. Uh, and Comrade. Okay. Alright, so we'll save and go back to the airship. Alright guys, here we go. Are you ready for the final super boss penance? Just the, just the sheer having penance on this list is so cool. He actually appears in the same area as Sin, I've noticed. So that's kind of interesting. He's so cool. Just, oh my god. The, the, the sheer idea that there'd be this extra thing right at the end. Here we go, penance. Yeah, here we go. Oh, baby, look at these backgrounds. Ah, oh, they do such awesome stuff with the cutscene at the start. Look at it, it's all green tinted and crazy and stuff. This is this music. Ah, oh, baby, amazing. So, penance. What we're going to do uh, immediately is we're going to open up with a mix. Now, hopefully I'm not a dummy. I am just doing this off the top of my head here. But wasn't it to create Hyper Mighty G? Um, it was a very defensive item, such as a Lunar Curtain, which casts shell on a character, combined with one of these top tier things. Namely, we used Wings to Discovery before. Uh, and if I've still got some, I may as well do it again. So here we go, we've got 32. Hyper Mighty G, thank God for that. So what this has done is regen us. It's put um, lots of cheers and stuff on us too. I think if we... Maybe we can even check this. If I go to like Azuna myself. So Shell, Protect, Regen, Haste, Auto Life. Okay, so they don't appear. But I'm pretty sure we have cheered a lot of time here. So uh, what you'll notice about Penance, okay, is we've got the main boss here. His health is at... Uh, 12 million so nemesis of the monster arena had 10 million and he was a fairly tanky guy this guy has a whopping 2 million more health than he even he had 
So he's definitely the tankiest thing in Final Fantasy X. And he takes a long time to kill, mainly because of his mechanics too. Not only does he have just the main body, he also has arms. There's no head, so it's not like a complete copy-paste of some of the other stuff we fought before. Uh, he literally just has these arms. Now, if both of his arms are up, he will cast an ability called Judgment Day. Should I not get a game over here, uh, I will edit in footage of Judgment Day when an appropriate time comes, but you might see it. Judgment Day is a lot like Sin's giant final attack when we were trying to break into Sin. Um, in that it will just instantly kill you, you no questions asked. You know, it's basically Zanmato, but even if you have an Aeon on the field, that's it still. It's game over. Um, so you need to always have his arms down. Uh, I've never even so much as legitimately fought this guy before, let alone any of this other stuff. He's immune to everything, so we don't have to worry like normal. His head's really weird. Uh, so what we'll do is we will just attack his right, his left arm here, I guess. And we got to break an arm quick, so we'll just land a bunch of quick hits over on this arm. Uh, Riku will be staying on the field for this fight, simply because uh, if we swap uh, Yuna in, Yuna doesn't have the cheers and stuff on her, so she's not going to be an asset. So, we've got to get this arm broken. And I'm hoping we can before the boss gets his first go. The arms uh, have their own attacks and stuff too. There we go. We've got an overkill, thank god. I don't think you have to rely on overdrives. Maybe Warrior would have been better. Okay, here's an ability called Obliteration. Okay, we're alive. We're alive, alright? I'm pretty sure that would usually just own everyone, but check it out. Here, here's the magic happening. Alright? Look at this! It's beautiful! And then we all go back up. This isn't costing any turns or anything. These are just the counters. Ah, yes! And then the music just accentuates the moment, and everyone's overdrives are all maxed out. Amazing! So, Riku's not going to be using her overdrive, but she can totally be entrusting, like, mad to Waka and so forth. So that's pretty badass. Right. Whew! It's good to know we survived. Now, um question is do we do we break the other arm or do we leave it up or, or get it a little bit low and then the main thing we got to do is hit the middle now i guess we should just break this arm when i attack reels i mean uh, so a blitz say is this worth using i, I think i'm just going to entrust to waka some of you guys who really know a lot about this game maybe might cringe at that idea but i think i'm just going to entrust to waka with the other two so boss one's going to get a turn in a second. We will attack reels. We get no control over, but I'm hoping, you know, if we go 50-50, probably one of those arms is going to break. So there you go. 2-2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. And as many turns as Waka can get, uh, we'll just keep entrusting on over. Obviously, the, the drawback is that entrust is another turn we could have done some damage, but whatever. There you go. That's an overkill. Right, and we're fine. So... Uh, this is really an endurance challenge, this, more than anything else, as far as I'm aware. Like, you can mess up. When you get him to 50% health, he changes his rotations and stuff, so be cautious. Look at him just ominously glowing there. Uh, you will notice on his chest, I may as well just start talking about this while, while we're here, uh, he's actually got spear and writing there. He also has protect on him, but we're piercing through that like no tomorrow. He actually has writing there. Um, I think it just says his name. Uh, I may have to edit that on the screen, because that was some trivia I did know. Um, but yeah, uh, and it, it, he's got some writing on him. I really don't know what the story is meant to be. Penance is a cool name. If you think about just his, perhaps, association with Yevon, I think it actually says Yevon on him. Is that what it says on him? Um, if you just think about his association, perhaps, with Yevon because of the Dark Aeon stuff, I'm going to defend with Riku just because I'm scared. Here's another obliteration. Uh, maybe the idea is, you know, the people of Yevon are sorry. I mean... Let's be honest, they did have noble intentions. Mace Micah, for everything he did wrong, uh, did at least believe, truly believe that the, what they're doing is the only way to deal with uh, Sin. Here you go. So, uh, interestingly, because Riku defended, Waka never got his full overdrive up, and that's a bit sad to me. Because um, now it's sort of going to waste turns and stuff. Like she's going to have to entrust over to him. And for what? 10% of a bar? Uh, but I don't know what else it could mean. I really don't. I've always kind of wanted to work penance as a word into like one of my MMO characters' names. Is that kind of silly of me? I don't know. It's, such a, it's just a cool word. Oh shit, one of the arms is back up and I didn't notice. That's the kind of thing that gets you killed here. There's another thing that gets you killed, which I'll show you soon enough. Oh, we need to hit that other arm. Okay, hopefully the attack reels will bounce enough attacks over there and uh, splash it out for me. No, no, no. Ah, damn it. Oh, the pressure. It's so high, guys. It's so high. 
Okay, uh... Oh god, no, if I fuck that up, I'm probably gonna fuck this up! Oh, I remember, there's another thing we gotta do with Riku. Um, so that we don't run out of MP really quickly, and that's we've gotta throw... three stars at the party, so that we can keep quick hitting and stuff, because it's such a long battle. You notice we hit the arm way harder. Damn it, that didn't get overkilled. It's okay, though. Alright, he just... Oh god, regeneration, two arms are up. That could mean he's about to use Judgment Day. I think it's, if the boss gets a go and both arms are up, Judgment Day comes. Oh good, we overkilled it. Thank god. Okay, you cannot let him have a turn with both his arms. And yeah, just the idea as well that, um, you know, he's part of, he's judging you as a member of Yevon. I don't know. This is fine. Oh, Riku died. That's scary. Why did she die? We don't have Auto Phoenix this time. I think if people are dying, that's a sign that I'm doing something very wrong. Auto Life brought her back, thankfully. But now she doesn't have cheer on her or anything. So she's going to have to recast Hyper Mighty G. We also want the three stars. Anyone, in theory, can throw the three stars. Uh, and she's got to get healed up. So here we go. We're going to... Oh, no, no, no. This, this isn't good. Okay, um... It just means that I've deviated from the strategy. Right, so what we'll do, I don't want to waste all my X potions. Since this is like it, really, we can just go crazy with our items. So, we'll throw an elixir. Not that I haven't already been going crazy. With a quick pocket. Then, we will... Here you go, three stars. Reduces party's MP cost to zero. I mean, these are such powerful items. Look at that animation, too. Consumption zero. Sweet. Uh, now Titus has got his overdrive up, may as well do it on the arm, just as long as we keep the arms down. Nice. Uh, now Waka's overdrive is up too, but I just want to check something. So if I put, target my own guys, shell, protect, regen, haste, auto life, shell, protect, regen, haste, auto life. Okay, that's fine, so we'll go another attack rails. I guess if you time it right when both arms are down. See, here's my worry, what if... Is it that when he casts regen, if both his arms are dead, they both come back, or does only one come back? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. It looked like only one came back, but if both come back with every regen, it would mean you want to leave one alive at all times instead of having both dead, which is what I've got right now. Okay, and now with Riku, we can create another Hyper Mighty G, reapplying Auto Life to her, but more importantly, applying all of the cheers and stuff to her as well. Uh, I think you can mix it with a level 4 key sphere as well for the record. Just any of the really, really strong rare things. Okay, here's another obliteration. It's funny to see the enemy design here too, because a lot of the enemy designs later... Look at just the, the sweep across the party there, just charging everyone's overdrive like that. That's so cool! The design of it is uh, a lot more similar to some of the more very recent designs you see of enemies, like from 13 and up. Okay, you know, really far away from traditional kind of fantasy stuff like ogres and goblins and things, which is where the foundations of this series lie. Okay, we'll go with another attack reels here then. I just can't understand how Riku died before. So, uh, let me talk to you guys for a second as well about the break HP limit version of this fight, because it would go very differently. The break HP limit version, this obliteration, when it hits us, it would do somewhere in the region... Oh, no, it would do somewhere in the region of... 10 to 30,000 damage to everyone in your party. I would say around there is probably fair. Um, we're mitigating it that much more heavily because we get the damage plus 20%. And when you have the break HP limit version, you don't necessarily need to cheer five times too. Um, and so then if you have auto potion on, he's got both arms up. That's terrifying to me. Let's blitz ace this one because we've done a lot of damage to it. And then if you have um, uh, auto potion on, there is a limitation to X Potion that I haven't talked about, so I'd like to make that clear. Uh, the difference with X Potion is, yes, it puts you to max health, but it only goes up to the cap of 9,999. So if you have 50,000 health and you throw an X Potion at Titus, um, and he's on one health, he'll actually only go up to 10,000 health, not all the way up to 50,000, because it's capped at 999. So that's something really uh, important that you need to be careful about. I guess we'll just quick hit this again. Currently, I'm just relying on Waka's splash damage, I suppose, from his uh, overdrives. We'll entrust again and do another one. Um, so, yeah, that, that's... that's uh, Okay, we'll entrust there. So, that's the difference. Now, that doesn't mean that this fight is impossible. 
It means that you take a lot more damage and it's, it's in some ways, I guess, a little bit more risky. But regen, because you have very high health, because you have 99,999 health, the regen will tick you for way more. It's ticking us for, you know, sometimes only in the hundreds. When you have that much health, it could tick you for 9,999 per turn. And so those are your X potions there. That's where it comes from. There's just a bit more randomness to it. I think it's the way that the devs designed the encounter. But I'm sure they were also aware of the fact that this was possible too, you know? That this very special way of getting absolutely everything you can defensive-wise in the game would allow you to survive without having to press triangle and defend, you know? And this is just cool, right? Like, look at this. It's like clockwork. It's so badass. And you'll notice he actually doesn't inflict status. Status isn't really a thing, at least for now. I can't remember what happens when he, like, phase changes at 50%. And <laughs> maybe status comes into it more there. I, I couldn't tell you guys right now. Uh, we get an opportunity to just quick hit, I guess. I don't know. Oh, here we go. This is going to be an attack reels, and it's going to hit purely hit the torso. That's going to be nice. You know when sometimes a plane flies by, and you're not sure if it's thunder or friggin' a plane or a train or something? There's currently one of those outside right now. All right, that's pretty nice. Okay, and now we can just entrust. Regeneration. Okay, one arm's up. So we will Blitz Ace that arm. Maybe this is why Blitz Ace people quite like, because it's really effective against the arms, and considering this is like the ultimate boss of the game, I guess uh, it makes sense. This is still probably doing more than a Lulu's Fury might do, unless someone wants to correct me. Maybe if you've got like software emulation or like some kind of turbo analog spinning controller. There we go, we got it. I actually got it on 0.01 .01 when I was fighting Eugene earlier in one of my failed attempts. Maybe if you've got like some crazy software thing where you can just like spin it like an insane amount of times and guarantee the max amount of furies even though you're like casting Ultima or something, maybe maybe Lulu would come out better. If not longer animations. I'm just waiting for one of these to hit us and we just wipe instantly. It really scares me that Riku's on lower health than the others. I think this might mean her defense isn't quite at 255. That I messed up while I was stat maxing her. Could be wrong. Damn it. I, I think that hit the arm a little bit too many times. I don't want to kill the arms too quickly. Because then they'll spawn next to each other a bit too quickly. I feel like a phase change must be coming up somewhere soon. There you go, he just regenerated, which is good, because I can immediately slam that with a Blitz Ace. And, even better, the boss is about to get his main go, and um, that we've just exhausted all of our overdrive, and he'll just give him to us all back. Can't argue with that. Again, the fight would go very differently if I was on a different overdrive mode, if I'd chosen at the start of this video, or whenever it was. No, for God's sake! Ah! If this ends up meaning that he's about to regen a damn arm before he gets the oblivion thing in, obliteration, and I don't kill this one because, oh my god, I'll be so sad. All right, we're fine. But yeah, you know, if I'd chosen warrior or something, it would be going very differently. I think comrade's probably the best choice. Every time the boss gets a go, you get three overdrives. You can't, there's nothing wrong with that. See, Titus was lower that time. I don't know, maybe there's just a bit of RNG on the hits. Oh, so something else as well. Jeez. Um, there is more to talk about with Penance. So do you know how everything in the game gives you 4% crit chance, although it's in innate and you can't actually see it as a stat. You have to dig into the game's code. And then the bombs give you 6% or whatever it was. And then the uh, Dark Aeons give you 8%. And that includes the original creations in the monster arena. Well, Penance is unique too in this regard. He doesn't give you four, he doesn't give you six, he doesn't give you eight, he gives you 10%. So it's this weird thing where whatever the one item he drops, he will only ever drop one item, of course. Whatever that one item is he drops for your party, uh, that's good, the second arm regen just after the, the, the previous one died. Whatever he drops, um, this will be some like unique, amazing weapon or piece of armor that gives you uh, a, a butt ton more crit damage. Now there's nothing you can really use it on in the entire game unless you have like underpowered characters in the background you want to finish the final boss off but don't have them overpowered but you do want them to have this cool thing, whatever. It's this hidden stat that only he will drop 
and you want to keep it separate and make a note of whatever the hell it is because it'll be named the same as everything else perhaps even have a bad auto ability on it but it's got 10 percent and it's unique it's kind of cool to me as well to think that um as they were adding this international content they were still well aware of that weird mechanic even though it wasn't ever displayed to the player you know uh, they were still aware of it and they wanted to show it off so you go the boss will get a turn he only has one arm up i'm just worried that he's gonna get a regen before a turn like it will just randomly pop up i guess that entrust was you was wasted i could have just attacked with riku there hmm i'll have to try and bear that in mind in the future You'll notice there's no Sid commands on this airship battle, by the way. The only airship battle where there are no Sid commands. Feeling the endurance. Maybe not from my focus, but from my feet, because I've been on the standing desk. But I've recorded quite a few hours of the LP today. Ah, uh, it's all... Oh, no, what am I doing? I shouldn't talk to you guys while I'm doing these. Jeez, fine, six hits. I'll take that. Yeah, it's all been these, like, mega bosses and stuff. Jeez. But, you know, after the, after we're done with this, it's we're home stretch, and that's a scary and weird thought to me. All right, fine, regen. Oh, another thing I never really mentioned about the Dark Aeons. Um, and this is the fact that none of them are scannable at all. So unless you have the privilege of a guide like I've had, you're not going to know their health. You're never really going to know how long it's going to be till you kill them. Especially with Penance, such a long fight. Uh, you know, you, you're, you're going to be sat there wondering for a while. I quite like this though because... Um, wow, it didn't die, sure. The only people who eventually get to Penance... Like, are people who seriously look down and, and, and want to do a lot with the game. Uh, and by this I mean, like, even with Zanmato, right? You have to Zanmato a lot of enemies. It's not just one of each Aeon, okay? You have to Zanmato Ixion twice, uh, Yojimbo five times, the Dark Magus sisters three times. That's a lot of, a lot of Zanmato. And either that means a lot of grinding for a lot of gil, which means you're probably quite strong anyway, <clears throat> or you've at least shown some commitment to the game, or, <clears throat> you know an awful lot about how the uh, Zanmato system even works. And by knowing a lot about that, you've probably done your fair amount of research into the game or whatever. So, I think no matter how you get here, you've demonstrated some desire to see the best stuff and really try. You know, even though this big cheese is here, it's so much, uh, so much effort to go through that it's not, it's not that bad. He seems to be getting a lot more obliterations in right now. It won't be long before he starts using a new ability too, so... I'll keep you guys posted. We are, of course, against the clock, by the way, called the X-Potion Clock. We only have 67 of them left. Um, and I have heard horror stories of people running out of them before. And I'm suddenly concerned that I'm playing too conservatively and I might run out of them. That's going to be a big issue if that happens. Maybe I'd have to prop pop Trio of 999 and then use Mega Potions to heal myself. Or Mega Elixirs. Uh, I've got a few of those left. I can only hope that as long as I land enough attack reels, you know, don't mess up too many, I won't run out of X potions too quickly. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This should be the phase change, I think. I probably spoiled it. A little, maybe. You might think he's dead, but no. And now that his armor's broken off a bit more, you can see he's a bit more insect-like. Look at that. Look at him. He's like a friggin' leech in there. Wiggling around. So, here's his next phase. Have to keep juggling the arms just like we were before. I'm actually seriously concerned that neither arm is up right now. Like, if both respawn in a second, and then he judgment days, I will be a very sad panda. 
Um, now he's gonna overdrive anyway here, so I should make, I should just quick hit. And okay, regeneration. Please don't regen the other arm next turn. I, I seriously, please don't regen the, the other arm next turn. By the way, the difference between Blitz Ace and Slice and Dice on one level is that Slice and Dice is multi-hit but no control over what the hits go on. Blitz Ace is multi-hit and it will all go on the target you first chose. The, 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 the other arm can't regen now, right? Not before his turn. Okay, good. Woo! All right, so this is the boss's turn. He's in a new phase. This is a new ability he'll use. Oh, no. That wasn't supposed to kill us. I'm positive that's not supposed to kill us. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, uh, the boss gets another go in a second, too. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Riku's low, so she's going to die to an obliteration if he still even casts that. Does he still use obliteration? His animation would be totally different. Maybe it is only immolation now. I don't think it is only immolation. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, so, look. Here's our targets. Let me just give you guys my conundrum. But here's the thing, right? So, we have Riku low, so he could AoE and kill her. She also no longer has auto life on her. We have one arm up, which is potentially low on health. Now, there's a risk that the next turn, the other arm will spawn. With both arms and the bosses go next after Wakas, we could get immediately hit with a Judgment Day and it's game over. Um, the other thing is that Riku, now that she's been hit with that new ability, if you have a look, um, if I say use aim a D spell, you'll see she, she should. Oh, no, she died. Well, that thing, we should survive and it should put all the brakes on you. There's a good chance I'm not using the ability that gives you the five cheers. So give me a second. Yeah, I think Hyper Mighty G doesn't give you cheer. It's a Mana Spring and a Lunar Curtain that gives you it. So without any cheers on us, I'm now pretty concerned because we need to do survive that. So look, I think the main thing we should do is just hit the arm. Because if it's close to death, I can't even remember how much damage I've done. If it's close to death, we're going to do better than anything else. So just go for it. The other arm regens. Oh, no, no, no. Don't dispel the arm. No. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Here's another immolation. This will kill someone and res them back up. But it's okay because Riku's there. I think I think we should be okay, guys. With any luck, it doesn't hit Waka. Yes! Okay, good. Okay, good. Titus comes back up because of auto life. Okay. Now, the boss is going to get a turn pretty soon. But we should be fine. Now, here's what we do. We, uh, we attack real second because Waka needs to get his go in first. So, first, Waka will... Quick pocket. Where are you? Quick pocket. Ah, look, you get three three goes. That's amazing. Quick pocket. Uh, mega looks on everyone. Second, Waka will. What else can he do? Quick hit, I guess. Yeah. Second, Waka will quick hit the arm. Okay, that's both arms up. Okay, this is bad. Right, so now we need to attack reels. Damn it! We should have attacked reels the turn before because now the damage is going to be spread out. We need that arm dead now. Otherwise, we're screwed when the boss gets his next go in. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we got the max hits. We just need a lot of them to aim on that thing on the right. Come on. Come on, kill the arm. Come on, please. Good random. Yeah, one more. Yes! Okay, good. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Okay, that's Judgment Day avoided. Right, now it's Riku's turn. Now, Riku will mix a Lunar Curtain. Where are you? Lunar Curtain with a Mana Spring, which is Absorb MP. I think this is what we need. Yeah, Hyper Null All. Okay, so this is all the defensive stuff. Now, this should have put Cheer on us, and we may even be able to confirm it by Azunaring ourselves. I can't believe I got this mix wrong. Protect, Null Tide, Null Blaze, Null Shock, Null Frost, Haste, Protect... Okay, it doesn't say it on there, but I think we are cheered. I think we are cheered. So, what we do now, just to be safe, I guess we want to cheer again. We need to get to the point where Immolation isn't one-shotting us. So, let's cheer again. And it will be the boss's go, and he will cast Immolation. we got to get some uh, life on us as well soon. Ooh, this isn't even the main issue, guys. Once we can survive an immolation, it's a whole different game plan. Right, yes, we're surviving it. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. And we're countering. Oh, baby, here we go. Whew. 
Right, alright, so there's that, right? Immolation drained us of MP, but we cast that mix earlier that means all of our stuff costs zero MP, so we're fine. Now, also, um, what you will notice, if you look very carefully, is Waka, even if he had ribbon on him, he now has all the breaks on him, armor break, mental break, and so forth. So we will get one shot by other stuff. So he need whenever someone gets immolated, you have to despell as well. That's another thing you're juggling everything together with. So um, that's fine. Now uh, we want to kill that arm, but as late as possible, so we can quick hit it first. <clears throat> and now we can quick hit it again with Riku. And, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with this. And now we'll Blitz Ace it and it should kill it. And if it doesn't, Waka can quick hit it again and it should definitely be dead. And the arm dying just before the boss has a go is great because it means there's basically zero chance of a Judgment Day. You just gotta man- you gotta balance them. If you kill them both really soon after the boss's turn, it could be nightmarish. Oh, jeez. Let's say it's not easy. Okay, there's the overkill. Thank you. Another thing in this battle, by the way, that you might like to do, especially at this point, is cast one of Riku's mixes called Hot Spurs, which I may well do the next time we get our, over our overdrives up. Because now that we're in this phase, overdrives are going to be coming slower on Comrade because he doesn't do so many AoEs. So here's another quick hit. That arm's up, but the other one won't spawn in time. Pretty confident, anyway. Here we go. Okay, immolation. So we're going to want to dispel this. Alright. Uh, Riku's out of MP. Damn it. What? She ran out of her thing? It's not good. Well, I guess we can just throw another three stars, right? Because it wasn't actually an overdrive. Now, an elixir plus a dark matter together creates something called eccentric, which is hot spurs for all three people. Doubles all your overdrive charges. I really want to get that very soon. But we got to charge Riku's overdrive first before we can do it. So... Uh, we're going to have to start entrusting to her. We've also got to keep that uh, arm down. So there we go. Uh, three stars. See, the reason she lost that was because she died, you see? But they, they've all got everything now. Okay. Except two of them don't have auto life, which could be scary, but because we don't have auto phoenix at the moment. But one thing at a time. All right. So <sighs> we've got to keep working on that arm. Ah, uh, we, we With no overdrives, we've got to keep push in on the arm because we don't have the overdrives to do the damage to kill it quickly so I think that's the tactic I'm going to have to go for just keep quick hitting, we'll go with the entrusts again soon and we're running out of X potions the more time goes by, not so quick now that we're in phase 2 because it's not AoEs but still I, I'm so scared we're not going to kill this in time if we, if we double entrust a Waka though, he can attack reels and we will probably kill it Otherwise, what do we get? Three hits? That might not be enough. So I'm at a crossroads. Do I attack? Do I quick hit this arm three times? Or do I entrust, entrust to Waka? And then attack reels. See, the other arm's probably about to regen. So if I do the attack reels, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. One. Two. Three. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay, it's dead. The other one didn't regen anyway. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay, immolation. Oh, no, did we dispel? I don't think we dispelled. Okay, I think we need to dispel two people now. We have no MP on anyone, but it doesn't even matter. MP isn't a part of this fight. <sighs> if someone dies, though, and loses all their buffs, we're fucked. Okay. D spell, yeah, Riku needs it and Tidus needs it. So we, both the people without auto life. Fuck, we got so much to apply. Okay, do this first. Waka didn't get his overdrive up either. Damn it, I didn't do enough prep earlier. All these overdrives with Riku, I should have set them up sooner. Okay, um. Now have those D spells removed the cheers and stuff? I don't think they have. They shouldn't. I don't think D spell does that. Well, they can't. Um, oh, maybe they have. I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what happens when we next get attacked. But I'm 99% sure that it doesn't do that. Right now, uh, Tidus is gonna entrust to Riku next turn, so she can eccentric. 
Yeah. Um, and in the meantime, Waka will attack this arm. Okay, because we need that arm dead. What was it? Four attacks to kill the arm? Okay, entrust Riku. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just kept the attacks because we would have had our overdrives up next turn anyway. That was silly. All right, fine. Do you guys see what I mean? Early on in this LP, I told you that this was a puzzle game. That's what this is. It's a puzzle game. As stupid as it sounds. Because this isn't going to be an attack from Riku anyway. So that means two more attacks on the arm. It's just kind of dumb. Everything about this is dumb. I can't afford a, a, a judgment day to come up. Alright, I'm going with a quick hit. If she gets an extra turn from a quick hit, I'm definitely doing the quick hit tactic. Yeah, okay, she does. Alright, I think four more attacks and we'll get that thing down. Or even better, three attacks and then she can eccentric anyway. Alright, go on, Waka. Kill it, kill it. You know you want to. Damn it. Riku. Okay, there you go. Whoa. Even here, it's it, it might seem like I'm panicking over nothing, but it was a long time. I cut a lot of stuff out of phase one, okay? I don't want to have to wait all this time again. All right, so the cheers are definitely still there because we still got loads of health. Right, we're finally stabilizing here, guys. Eccentric will come down now. Um, we even get a chance here to quick hit this guy. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. We just got immolated. We need to dispel. Dispel. Riku. It was Riku that was hit, wasn't it? So, now Waka can attack Reels. Fair enough. Okay, now, Riku mix an elixir with a dark matter. Where are you? Here we go, dark matter. Eccentric. Overdrive times two for everyone. Nice. So now next time he immolates, we should, you know, maybe it'll be like two immolates for a full party's worth of overdrives. And in the meantime, we'll quick hit that arm down. We literally only just broke the left arm, right? Didn't we? Yeah, because it was an attack reel as well. Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay, good. The thing with the breaks is there's no, like, physical cue on screen that they're hitting you. So I told you guys in the Bahamut fight that that was, like, the, the big mechanic. Well, it's the mechanic here, too. So there you go. Look, one immolation actually gives us two, and that's fantastic. And then he counters X potions. Right, we've stabilized. We've stabilized. Now it's just a matter of, hey, remember to um, throw your uh, D spells on yourself and you'll be fine. Obviously, if you didn't have stuff like auto haste, I'd love to see like an end game thing here where you try and kill these bosses without stuff like uh, auto haste on. Like in particular, I wonder if it's even possible because auto haste is just so strong. The, the, the mere thought of having to haste easier at the start of every fight, every time someone goes down, rehaste them. The the potential that like slow could just could completely destroy a character is it, is terrifying. It really is. Okay, that's fine. Entrust to Waka. Like Waka is just a boss here. He just goes crazy. And I'm expecting this at attack reels to kill that arm and do sub some substantial damage to the torso. What's nice is as soon as the first couple of hits do actually hit the arm have gone through, the rest will just focus on the torso. So it's like we don't really get wasted hits here. Especially considering they do like only 20, 30, well, 50k damage each. I think the best target for this would be Riku getting hit by the immolation. Because that puts Tidus on Blitz Ace. It basically means I can just use two overdrives without having to waste time on an entrust. Kind of an interesting thought here that neither of the arms have come up for a while, so I'm kind of scared that they'll both come up together. So I'm not actually going to overdrive on Waka. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to overdrive on Waka. I'm going to quick hit. Because now, on his next turn, I can overdrive on him and blow that arm up fast. Because I think the next one's going to come up too. Oh no, I've got such a bad feeling about this next turn. Why do I think the other arm's going to regen? No, only two hit. Okay, oh, good. The tension, why is this fight so long? Why? Uh, please. 
Just make it stop. Die, penance. I'm sorry for whatever. What the heck? We didn't even get a full bar there. What the fuck is that? Since I know the right arm there is low, I'm not going to break it yet. I'm going to wait for the second one to spawn. In trust. It would help if I knew exactly how many turns it was that they were dead for. But I feel like there's a bit of randomness to it. Maybe. There you go. Okay. Right. Now, we can blow up the arm on the right. And we know that they're like basically on opposite timers for deadness. Alright, no. We'll just attack rails again. I'm very confident that we'll be, we can safely break that arm on the right. Especially since I got that right. I'm very confident. I think we'll be okay. Ugh. <sighs> So really, the race against the X-Potions, I guess, is more of a phase one thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A couple more on the right, please. There we go. Nice. That one's down. I will leave the other one up for now, I guess. Whatever. I'll do what I want. It's my hot body. Okay, and here we will entrust to Waka. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. I didn't, I didn't dispel the previous immolation, did I? Did I? I may have. Well, we're all maxed overdrive right now. Now, attack reels. This is just before the other arm is due to spawn, which is good. We get 50-50 across the right two. Instead of like a one third and too much spread damage and I don't really know which arm I want to break first and so on. Those 50k hits, they're so beastly. All right, I'm gonna quick hit twice here, just because instead of entrusting, just because I'm scared this thing will stay up. All right, that's fine. It was only one hit away. Okay, do I blitz ace or entrust? I guess entrust. Do I attack reels or wait for the first arm to respawn? I think I'll wait for the first arm to respawn. It's actually never happened directly before his turn, so maybe it's not possible. I'm not going to take that risk, though. We spent so long looking at just, like, this leech. The underside of a leech. Ugh. You are out of X potions. No! I don't know how I'd deal with that, actually. It would take a really risky strategy to suddenly try and deal with that. Uh, I can actually blitz ace the guy in the center here. I th actually, no. We'll blitz ace the arm. And then this means that when the attack reels comes down, maybe one or two balls will hit the right and the rest will all go on penance. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good, guys. I'm feeling pretty good right now. He might be low. He might be low. There's the overkill on that one. Come on. I know you're low. How much more health can you have? See, here's a weird idea. Okay. Back to the, like, the story stuff. What if Penance is like a god? Like, there, there's not much talk of gods in this story. Uh, and, you know, um, I don't think every story needs to have talk of gods, and surely this really proves that, actually. But it's kind of an interesting point to me. Let me be sure that I have got all the breaks dealt with. All right, let me do. Let me be sure I got all the... De oh, no, see, look, I almost m messed that up, so Waka didn't have his dispel done. There we go, dispel that. Attack reels. Oh! Oh, my God, Wow. The screen went totally different there. I thought that was the. Oh, I thought he was dead. Uh, I'm gonna leave that arm up for a second, just because we got plenty of time before the boss does anything. I'm not gonna bother entrusting or anything here. We're just gonna quick hit a fair few attacks. Oh, uh, we do need to dispel Titus though, right? Yeah. Can't forget it. Constant pressure there, all times. Go another quick hit. Actually, how low is that arm? It's pretty low, right? Uh, maybe we should attack it. I can't remember how low it is. Oh, God, yeah, that's both arms up. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. Keep keep damaging it. It's been attack reels, though, right? Oh, thank God. Okay, got overkilled. That is scary, seeing both arms up. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, more quick hits. <sighs> Keep the focus. Oh! Oh, guys! Guys! No, never mind. Assimilation. So we actually don't need the auto life. Waka's had it on him the entire time. 
Go, counter him in the head. Every time he gets countered, he shakes back so far. Man, it's it's all it's entirely too exciting. Ah, uh, it's got dark outside. I started recording this like today with all the bosses and stuff, like in the middle of the day. And it is night time, full on night. Alright, here we go, attack reels. You got this Walker, I believe in you. I believe in all of you. Except uh, Kamari, Oron, and Lulu. You guys suck. No, they don't suck. They're just not they're not suited for some of this stuff at the end. They can totally it can totally be done with them. I'm sure you'll find videos online of it. This is good. We can entrust again actually back over to Waka. I think maybe I killed that slightly too soon. Maybe. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go a bit YOLO here. I'm gonna attack Reel's penance and penance alone. Come on. This means we're going to be less equipped for the arm to re when it respawns in a second. We're just going to have to really focus on that arm and make sure it dies. Because we're going to have no overdrives for it at all. And we can't waste time in trusting. But that's some juicy damage. Oh, guys. Guys. No. Fuck. <sighs> I'm a wreck. All these camera angles. They keep making me think things. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. D spell. Yeah, and I mean, he targeted the wrong guy as well, the worst guy for it, because if he'd hit anyone else, it would just take one entrust, but this would be two entrusts. So it's just not gonna, it's not gonna be worth it. Okay, there's the arm. We have to go all hands on deck on this arm now. It's, it's kind of a sad thought that Penance could be on like one hit point or something right now, and we have to focus on the, this arm. We have to break it as fast as possible, because we, we, we just don't have the overdrives to deal with it. Okay, uh, wait, 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 first things first, D-Spell, I'm getting ready to like go ham every time, okay, hold on, D-Spell, right, Riku's the only one with an overdrive up, what do I think about that, nothing really, I could give it to Waka, I think I will, because there's nothing she can do with it at all, I'll give it to Waka, wait for the other arm to respawn, then attack reels it, but until then, quick hit, oh, oh there you go, that's it right there, okay, Oh, do you know what's funny? You can actually flee here. This is something I never talked to you guys about. Wow. Yeah, so uh, you can flee from this battle. Um, and you know every time we've killed one of these arms, these arms actually do drop stuff. They drop like spheres. I think they're teleport spheres or is it, it might even be dark matter. So they do drop stuff. You can farm stuff just by spamming away on these arms. But of course, to be at the point where penance is spawned, I'd like to think you've already done a lot of your leveling stuff, unless you've taken the challenge of doing it without you being massively overpowered. It's an interesting idea for sure, uh, and it's something you can do, you can just keep farming. Oh my god! Okay, immolation, alright. Oh, show me that death animation, man, come on! Oh god, he just double regenerated. That's kind of scary. Oh yeah, it's desperate times. We'll blitz ace this arm. Oh, 0.04. I needed that hit so badly as well. I'm so scared. I just desperately needed that hit. I needed to know that the arm was going to go down. <laughs> I'm a wreck. Okay, alright. Quick hit the main thing. I'm happy to take that risk because we've got an attack rails here. Oh, it's kind of scary though because we're running out of overdrives again, but one arm did just break. They both spawned kind of near each other, so I don't really want to break the other arm too fast. So I'll just focus on penance here and not be scared. No, what is that? What is the- what? What is the odds of that? 12 hits and all of them, like, except one, go on one arm. I'm not gonna have any overdrives in a second. What the hell? What, what, what are the odds of that? 
Oh, and then he, uh, it took so long with the animation there. I thought we were done. No, this is scary now. Both those arms are going to come up at pretty much the exact same time. One turn apart. Oh, look, we just got two overdrives. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's good. I can entrust from Riku to Waka. And... Okay, which I'll do now. I, I can't believe that. What the hell? And I think the only reason the last one hit him was because it friggin... I'm going to quick hit here. I know, I know. I need to cure, cure, cure the break on it. Uh, which I should... Wait, hold on. If I quick hit now, does he get an extra turn? Oh, wait, I didn't see. Does he get an extra turn? Yes, he does. Okay, good. So we'll cleanse uh, Waka on that last hit in a second with Titus. Uh, Riku, you can attack again. We just did massive damage dependence here. I'm just throwing it out there. All right, okay, okay. Just regen the one. I don't need you to regen the other one. Please don't regen the other one instantly because I need as much damage on that arm as possible. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, wait, wait, wait. All right, we need to... Dispel... Waka. Dispel Waka. Don't regen the other arm yet. Good, good, good. Attack reels. I have to get 12 hits here. No! I only got four. I only got four. I only got four. I only got four. Okay. Um. Alright, it's okay though, because I can blitz ace it. Oh, and now you hit the middle guy. Fucking hell. Alright, alright. It's the boss's turn now. Don't regen right in front of the boss's turn. Okay, good. Alright. Crisis averted. I've had so many circular conversations like this over and over and over again. I'm going to have to cut like 90% of them out, otherwise I'm going to sound like a moron. But each time, the fear is real. The fear is so real. Okay. Oh, you're not going to counter? Oh, I guess uh, that sucks about Riku. She actually doesn't have counter. Okay, both arms are up. The left arm is the one that we're currently focusing on. That's the one that's already taken a couple of hits. First, we need to cleanse... Do spell. Okay, and now we're gonna blitz ace this arm. And it's why do I why is attack real so much skill? Why do I, why am I required to do it a million times in one fight? I feel like I've not been able to push that much damage on dependence for a while. Okay, we got that, that's fine. Okay, attack reels. This is going to be over three targets, too. There we go, there we go, there we go. I thought I'd missed that. That, that, that I didn't. I'm all right. Okay. Sorry, sorry, I'm blowing into the mic. I'm blowing into the mic. I shouldn't be. No, no, no. Left, 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 left. Okay, overkill. Good, 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 good. All right, and we have one turn. Oh, my God, these are nice moments. <sighs> what, uh, an arm just died. I've got nobody to cleanse. I can just attack. There we go. Alright, that's fine for Riku. That's actually really good. That charged both of their overdrives straight away. No counter, but that's fine. She can cleanse herself. This is also good. We don't have to waste a turn in, tr in trusting. Um, now that arm's already taken some splash from the previous attack rules, and we did only just break an arm. So I'm just going to attack there. Oh my god, the arm got a turn! It casts Sloga. That's fine, because we have auto haste, so it actually does nothing at all. Yeah, the arms can get goes. I guess all they do is cast slow. If they do more, I will try and edit on screen. And hopefully editing me from later on tonight or tomorrow won't be lazy me, and I won't actually do it. Uh, yeah, let's put say this guy. Oh my god, what if this is the killing blow? Jeez, we've been going for so long. It's an hour and 11 minutes of just pure penance fighting so far. A lot of people say he takes about 40 minutes to kill, so I'm going a bit slower than most people. But I am also stopping to talk to you guys, and I'm not perfect at it. This is literally my first ever time against penance. I've just looked up stuff about him before I'm coming in. Alright, uh, now I'm going to quick hit this arm because I'm getting kind of worried.
Oh, no, 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 wait. Did I cleanse? Did I cleanse? I don't remember cleansing. Yeah, I did. I did, right? Because it was... I cleansed Riku. And the reason I feel like I didn't cleanse was because the boss got a go, but really it was just the arm that got a go, and there was nothing to cleanse. Yeah. Okay, so Titus is still up. That's fine. Kill the arm, the boss gets a go. We got one hit in on the boss that time, but this is okay. No matter who he targets now, hopefully he hits either Riku or Titus. Preferably... Actually, I don't know who I prefer. Probably Riku. Yes, thank you. Thank you for listening. God, if three stars didn't exist, I can't imagine how you'd fight this guy because the zero MP would really, really hinder you. Another attack reels. Do you know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think it's 5 million health for phase 1 and 12 million for phase 2. Because we've been in phase 2 for a long time now. Okay, 0.09. Okay, it's down. Alright, the arm's up, so I guess we just have to quick hit this arm permanently. By the way, if you're watching this, and in the back of your head you've been thinking the whole time, uh, you know, there's no reason uh, to be worried, I'm sure he'll get it, I'm sure it's fine, he'll get the kill. I'm warning you right now, okay, if I die, I'm not trying this again tonight. I'm gonna just leave it, I'm gonna edit it, end the video, and we will be doing this a different day. Uh, we will hopefully kill that arm. That's actually really scary. Okay, there's an emulation, that's fine. Uh, yeah, like, I don't have it in me. This is too much stress for too long. I've been on a wire for ages, and my throat hurts. So, like, it's 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 do or die here, people. Oh, and what we'll get is, like, some crappy edited in, hey, here's the end of the penance fight. There you go. Like, from a, a later perspective. All right, uh, attack reels looks too juicy here. I want to do it before the third arm appears. Third arm, sorry, second arm. Uh... So that we get the RNG on the ones we actually want, and we can dispel later. Riku also has a job of uh, entrusting over to Waka in a second. There you go, that one's overkilled. Ah, oh, come on, just show me an overkill on penance! <sighs> I'm hoping the arm survives this, but it's just on like really reliably low health. What's it been hit? Twice already, and then an attack reels. So it should be like one hit away, unless we get crazy RNG again. Yeah, okay, good. I think the arm should... So, so now, if I attack it twice, I think it will die. <clears throat> Very shortly before the boss's turn. Or, like, immediately before the boss's turn. Yeah, good. Okay. And see, no risk. Also, no chance it will get a go. I can't believe an arm got a turn earlier. Like, that's so weird. The course of events that would have led to that. Every time he does this, I'm terrified that I didn't dispel the turn before. All right, well, that's just brilliant. Those overdrives, amazing, guys. Really, really, really useful. Who do you think is going to get the winning kill here, by the way, guys? The winning hit. Probably Waka with an attack reels. Probably. It would be cool if the, if the kill happened finally on one of these counters, though. I'm not going to Blitz Ace him. I'm just going to attack him. I'll save Blitz Ace for one of the arms. Another score story question. Why is the sky all purple? What, has he like poisoned the area? Is it just some stupid effect they put on? Some uh, some cool theory you can maybe make up as to why it's gone purple? There's nothing I can think of. Except, hey, this is just a really unique battle arena. Quick hit the armor again. 
He looks like super Arabic, actually. Like his arms, I don't know. They look very ornate. Well, that's just me. All right. Another one of these free hits. Come on, Riku. You can do it. You can be the hero. Oh, be a hero. Never mind. Uh, Waka has attack reels. Now, this would be crazy damage. We also have a Blitz Ace available, so I actually will attack reels. I don't see much risk here. It just means we get to pump out a lot of damage on him. Uh, and even when the arm spawns in a second, yes, we won't get the assisted damage from Waka, but we'll have it from Tidus. I know that we still have to dispel whoever just got hit there. I think it was Riku. But that, that's too good to, to, to miss up, I think. That's pretty icky, but maybe we can... Oh my god, Titus got it! Guys, I just saw Overkill come up. Oh my god, there it is! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Wow, he's blowing up. Look at that. He turns into the Eye of Sauron for a second. Oh, and the Pyreflies. Even gods are just Pyreflies in this world. And then we ex patient at the end for the win. Oh, the trophy perseverance. Thank you for persevering through this video. Oh my god. Look at that 36 dark matter. This is because of all the arms we killed, okay? Eight master spheres. And uh, those are rare things from the arms as far as I'm aware. Abraxas. Oh, oh and that battle music. Uh, all that victory music. Oh my god. No cutscene at the end aside from his death animation. Uh, nobody changes any dialogue. Nobody ever tells you anything about uh, Penance. Nobody in the Calm Lands ever has any dialogue. That's it. Oh, my heart. It was about to snap. It's so bad. Okay. Wow. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. That's all the bonus content from the international version of Final Fantasy X. Um, all the Dark Aeons, Penance, the ultimate boss at the end. Uh, there are some very hard Final Fantasy bosses. He's definitely ranks up there as one of the hardest. Um, you guys got to skip out on all the grind, but even you can see once you're like really maxed out, you have all this crazy stuff. Uh, it's still a huge, huge, difficult problem to deal with these kinds of guys. But um, but yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching these detours, guys. That's all the side quests. You've seen it all. This is as 100% as we can get. Next episode, we'll be returning to Inside Sin with my original save file. We will be going through the uh, ruins of like weird Zanakan place in Sin, and we're gonna find Jekt. I hope you guys enjoy that one. Have a great evening. I'm gonna hit the hay. See you next time, everyone.